choices are wine. Drink it in the evening with my friends. Occasionally, when they come round to my house. Got this wine from the people upstairs because they were having this party and uh, they're playing that song that goes like, um, what does it go like? Diddling, diddling, diddling. What does it go like? Daft Punk. And when it got to the bit that goes, they were all banging on the floor, like jumping up and down. Today, the lady came with a box of chocolates and a bottle of Molbeck which I'm going to review for you, because I know that lots of people like Molbeck. Oh, careful not to go on my shirt. Put the frog in. You see the frog? Right, Trafic Molbeck 2013 from the co-op. 8 99 a bottle. I've had some decent wines from the co-op recently. Occasional hidden gems. Not wrong with the co-op. I wanted to talk about terroir. So terroir is a word that wine people use to describe everything about all the conditions that make a wine possible. So like soil, altitude, wind, the direction it faces the sun, the slope, angle, the soil, everything about it. So that really affects wine. Hey man, stop poking that fire. You poked it enough. So orig originally Malbec was found in uh, France. So there's this virus that, that swept across all the vines in the 1800s and uh, because Malbec's got a thin skin and it's a bit delicate it caused this rotten thing so all the Malbec was rotten away and someone took it to Argentina it was planted everywhere basically so if you look on the bottle most of the bottles will say Mendoza that's the area of Argentina where all the Malbec comes from 70% of the world's production so it's pretty mega um, most of them have been put in some oak, gives it more vanilla and softens it and makes it a bit more woody and nice and smooth. This one I don't think has any oak, so it's going to be very fresh. I'm running out of things to say, what have I said so far? The scent, oh yeah. Well it smells of alcohol, 14, I'm going to be steaming too, like. very fresh, Bit a bit of cherry, chocolate, it might, it might just be because I've had a chocolate cake. But chocolate is a characteristic of Malbec, so we'll not discount it just yet. A little bit spicy, loads of fruit, a bit of blackberry, plums, really nice easy drinking. It's got a bit of a kick from the alcohol, a bit lacking structure, but it's got a bit of bite, which I like. Um, I think it'd be good, it'd be good with rich, rich red meats and stuff, because it would cut through, that's the nice, nice big acidity. It's a big wine. Can I have a chocolate? Oh, you want two layers? I thought two layers. No. The glass is a bit dirty, but the colour of Malbec is really, really purple actually. So if you hold the glass up, I don't know if you can see the purpliness, can you see that? So really purple. If you're trying to guess what a wine is, which I sometimes do and I get it wrong all the time, Malbec's quite an easy one, because you look at it and it's got like this purple tint around the edge. So, have a look for the colour. So in Mendoza, it's dry, it's a bit chilly in the nights, the soil's crap, which doesn't sound like a great place for growing wine. but. Some clever bastard found that glacial runoff in the Andes that could harness that water, put it into some irrigation channels, and then uh, water the vines with it. The fact that there's not that much water there means that the vines don't get massive. So if you have a vine with loads of grapes on it, then it's not going to be that good quality. That's that's the whole point of, of the winemaker chopping off bits that... It's got to be shirt! Well, you may be wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt. Well, it's because I spilt wine on the other one. Obviously, so it's in the wash now. I do like a good Malbec. Whenever I go to a steak restaurant, it's the only one that I can afford really, so I usually get Malbec. Yeah, so if you like big full bodied wines, easy drinking, fruity, just nice wine, you'll probably like Malbec. That's it. Next week. This wine has been sitting on my shelf for ages. Not because I don't want to drink it, but because I don't know anything about it. It's really expensive and I don't just want to sit there and neck it. So, I'll be finding out about it. So if it's a pile of shit, then I'm going to be upset. So do tune in. Tune in. Don't tune in. Just watch the video. Trapiche Pure Malbec. Available at such stores as the Cooperative.